Hey guys, welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Wendy, and this is our newest case. Um, she was an animal cruelty case in San Antonio. I think the story kind of has been confused, so we don't know if she was actually found or surrendered in animal cruelty, but as you can see, um, she's missing quite a bit of hair, and it's just kind of falling out. She's bones, all bones, I mean you can see almost every bone, so she's extremely emaciated. Um, she kind of has a really bad smell, I know you can't smell her, but she does stink. And she really doesn't look that old when you look at her teeth, the teeth aren't that bad. She's a little pale, so probably poor nutrition and parasites. And um, So we're going to see what's causing the hair loss, get her some food. Make sure she's healthy and see if we can get her to look like a, a normal dog instead of a chibacabra. Oh, okay. Oh, she's so hungry. She just skipped straight to the good stuff. Mm -hmm. She's so hungry. I know. She tried to eat my popsicle stick. I can't overfeed her. It's been a week and a half and we have miraculously cured uh, Madonna, which is now her name, I guess. So let's see how she looks. Oh wait, just kidding. She still has no hair. And I have no idea why. She has no mites. She's not itchy. She's very greasy. Um, so, we're all scratching our heads at this point. She's very sweet. She is gaining weight at least. So this is going to be a cytology. We're going to look and see if she's got bacteria, if she's got yeast. We still don't really know why she's losing hair. We've done one skin scrape and we didn't find anything, so we're going to do another one just to make sure we're not missing any mites. I don't even know where to scrape. But she's not itchy, so we're not really sure. Oh wait, maybe not, but she is getting hair. She is getting hair. And she has gained seven pounds. Look at that new hair. So we're gonna recheck her blood work today, make sure that's gone back to normal, and then keep her on her antibiotics and start her um, on her heart room treatment. So we are week four, four or five, and as you can see, she has hair now. Um, she had a really bad skin infection is what we finally decided. And once we put on antibiotics, um, she's doing really well now. So we have spayed her. We gave her her first injection for her heartworm treatment. And um, she'll have one month in between and then get two more injections. And then be good to go to her forever home. She's gained about 20, no, 12 pounds. For heartworms, we've gotten rid of her skin infection, so she's got these beautiful luscious locks now. Um, she is still a chow hound, uh, but she really is sweet. She's been spayed, um, so now she is just ready to go to her new home. Come on, uh, but she really is a sweet girl, um, and she does need a home. So if any of you would like this little love bug here. Um, but just want to say thanks again, Vet Ranch. She's always looking for the trash cans. <laughs>
Uh, but thanks again uh, for everyone that's made donations. Uh, Y'all make this possible for us to fix up these guys and, and get them new homes and kind of renew their spirit. So thanks again.